Don't you just love delivery day? In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and play testing the brand new Adidas Ubersonic 4. So stay tuned if you want to take a sneak peek at the shoe, find out how it performs on the tennis court and hear what I have to say about it. Let's go. Hey guys, my name is Ashley Neves and I am a tennis coach based here in the UK. Alongside my coaching, I run this YouTube channel, The Tennis Mentor, to help tennis players, tennis parents and tennis coaches to get more out of the sport. And more recently, I've started doing a few product reviews as well, including this one, which I'm doing today. Now, if you are into your tennis, let me know in the comments below what sort of content you'd like to see here on YouTube. Is it product reviews, is it tutorials, or is it match play? I'd love to know what you'd like to see more of. And if you feel like my channel can give value to your tennis, consider subscribing. Anyway, before we take a look at the shoes, I wanted to say a big thanks to Adidas for sending these over. They've kindly gifted them for the purpose of playtesting. I haven't been paid to make this review, nor have Adidas asked me to say anything in particular. So all of the things that I go through are going to be my own unbiased opinions. I'm already a big fan of Adidas trainers. My current shoe is the Adidas Soul Court Boost, and I've been wearing these for the last two or three years. And before those, I actually had the Ubersonic 2s. So it'll be really interesting to see how the new Ubersonics compare to the old ones. Let's check them out. There they are. So as you can tell straight away, they are a funky pair of trainers. Now for me, I'm pretty boring when it comes to colors on the tennis court. I tend to wear black and gray and white, quite monochrome colors. But if I do wear a funky color, if I do want a color that pops, I'm gonna wear it on my feet. And this is definitely a great color for the tennis court. I don't know about you, but there's something about wearing something funky. You know, it might be a bright pair of trainers, it might be a, a bright headband, but as soon as you wear something that pops, it just gives you another level of confidence. I don't know what it is, uh, you know, just for me, psychologically, I just think it gives you that extra boost of confidence. But um, yeah, so I think these trainers will definitely do that for me. But um, yeah, funky colors. You've probably seen another colorway. They've done a, a zebra kind of black and white zigzag colorway. Um, but there are also, I think, going to be some more colours coming out. I think there's some greys and some whites in, in the men's and ladies' shoe. But, um, yeah, this is the one that's currently the new one that's out, and it's pretty funky. But, um, yeah, there you go. That's the shoe. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the colour and um, what you think of it. I personally think it's great. But, yeah, if we look at the um, some of the techie stuff about the shoe. So, comparing it to my current Soul Court boosts, this shoe is a lot lighter. It's about 50 to 60 grams lighter than my current shoe. And I think you're definitely gonna feel it. I mean, I can even feel it when I'm holding it in my hands here. The sole courts that I'm used to wearing are built for durability and stability, hence that they are heavier shoes. Whereas these are built for speed and agility around the court. So lighter materials, lighter fabrics. Um, you can see here, they're not quite as built up around the sole, but equally, if you have a look at the sole, it's gonna be quite stable underfoot. And it's got this new, there we go. It's got this new light strike technology, which is in the sole. And it's supposed to give you that extra stability and reaction off the bounce. It's also got the Adi Zero technology, which is designed for speed. And that's all the lightweight fabrics that it's, that it's made up with. But it's got a little bit of extra material up here to protect the ball of the foot if you're a player that slides around the court. And again, it's got this kind of material upper here which goes into the tongue. Um, but here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got this rubberized kind of protective toe covering again for those players that slide around the court. Nice. What I did like about the Ubersonics the first time round was this sock where the tongue is connected to the inside of the shoe. And the benefit of this sock is it just really holds on to your foot, really supports it and keeps it stable when you're changing direction. But an added benefit that I found, I work at a club where there are clay courts and with normal tennis trainers quite often you get your feet you know your, your socks and your feet filled with sand in here but with this sock the clay can't get in through these gaps so that's another little added perk to having this sock 
just noticed this as well. This was on the sole court boost, the back of the heel kind of support here, arching backwards. I really like that. I, I tend to get pain in my Achilles. I've got quite tight Achilles. And what this does, it allows for a little bit more freedom of movement when you're when you're kind of on the stretch and the back of your leg is, is back here. Um, but it also helps with actually putting the shoe on, especially with this sock. It, they can be difficult to put your foot in initially. Um, but obviously once, once they're in there, they're pretty stable. But having this little bit can help you to get your foot into the trainer. But um, yeah, there's your first look at it. Let me know what you think so far. I haven't looked at the sole actually. You've got this classic herringbone pattern, which is the zigzag you see here. This one's for multi surfaces. I use this type of sole for when I'm playing on clay courts. It's good for sliding around. But you can see here that this part of the herringbone is slightly thicker than this part, and this is on the ball of the foot, so it should last a bit longer and be a bit more durable. So one last thing before I get out on court and test these bad boys out. I am currently used to, as I said before, using the sole court boosts and I have weirdly wide feet. The sole courts are known for having quite a wide toe box so they actually fit me fine. Other people find them a little bit too wide whereas these are more true to fit. So if you've got normal width feet or slightly narrow feet then you want to order these in the size that you normally do. However, if you're someone like me with really weird wide feet, I currently fit into a size 8 UK in the sole court boosts. And from previous experience with the Ubersonics, I actually go up half a size. So I go up to an eight and a half in these just to have that extra width and extra comfort. Just something to consider if you have super wide feet, but if you have normal size feet or narrow feet, then stick to your normal sizing. So my next job is to take these out onto tennis court. I'm gonna do a few agility drills to see if they live up to their expectation of being super fast and super agile around the court. Let's check them out. And like magic, we're on the tennis court. So let's check out how comfortable these are, how responsive they are, and how quick they are around the court. I'm gonna do a few warm up exercises, a couple of agility drills, so let's take a look.
So there you go, that was me for about 30 minutes running around the tennis court testing these out and upon first inspection I absolutely love them. They are super comfortable, super lightweight, compared to my previous shoes they are definitely much lighter and um, the only thing, as soon as I put them on I could kind of feel a bit of a crease along my foot here but because it's such a soft fabric it kind of gave straight away so um, yeah not a problem at all. I'm using a clay court or an artificial clay court over here and usually I wear clay court shoes however these soles they are designed for all surfaces and they're pretty similar to my clay court sole to be honest with you and I couldn't tell a difference so if you do play on a clay court surface or any surface I think the soles are going to hold up really really well. One of the things that I was kind of worried about compared to the sole court boosts was the sole courts have quite a wide section here helping you to have that stability when you're pushing off from side to side and even though these don't have such a wide section here they were really easy to change direction and to push off so I was really really pleased with that. As soon as I put them on I could feel the difference in weight these are super lightweight so they are definitely going to feel like you're not even wearing trainers running around the court. Like I said when I was back at home love this part here super soft really good on your heel and your achilles and i felt that even more so when i was running around the court as well usually at this stage in, in a session after half an hour of running around and doing these agility exercises i'd be shaking out my shoe of all of the clay and all of the sand but as you can see i've only just taken these off there's barely anything in there like a couple of grains of sand so um you know having that extra sock there is definitely helping when you're playing on a clay court but as soon as I put them on they felt comfortable my foot was snug in the shoe and um, to be honest I don't have anything bad to say about them. One thing I didn't mention is this so Adidas Prime Green if you haven't heard of it before Adidas are now using recycled materials high quality recycled materials to make their products to make them more sustainable and better for the environment and for the planet you might have seen as well the Parley range, and that's again using plastics found in the sea. But um, yeah, great to see Adidas getting on board with climate change and looking after the world. So good job, Adidas. Let me know what you think of the review. If you like the initial look of the shoe, um, if you've played with the Ubersonics before, let me know what you thought of the previous versions. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Hopefully I'll be doing a few more alongside all of my tennis coaching tutorials and other bits and bobs. So take care, hopefully see you soon.